Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. And in this episode of The John Morris Show, I'm going to be showing you how to apply odd and even classes to data that's being looped using PHP. So probably the primary use case for this is going to be if you're grabbing results from a database and you're displaying those in a table and you want to have the rows of that table be colored odd and even. As you can kind of see here, we have a, a white row and then we have kind of a gray row here. And so I'm gonna show you how to actually do that inside of PHP and the, you know, the unique, probably less used operator that you're going to use in order to do that uh, and the maybe unique way that, that I would go about doing this. All right, so that's what's up for this episode, so be sure to stay tuned. Now this week's episode is sponsored by the Complete Web Developers course by Rob Percival on Udemy.com. Now, what's great about this course is it really is a comprehensive and complete course that's gonna teach you everything that you need to know to get up and running and making a living as a full-time web developer, from HTML and CSS to JavaScript, jQuery, WordPress, PHP, MySQL, APIs, mobile apps, the whole kit and caboodle. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop for all of the training that you need, then this course is it. And it's taught by Rob Percival, who's a former mathematics teacher who knows how to explain complex concepts in really easy to understand terms. And that's probably why the course has over 100,000 students and the most five-star ratings of any course on udemy.com. Now, normally the course runs for $199. However, I've worked out a deal with Rob where you can get the course at a steep 85% discount. So right down below this video, you'll see a link to that course with that coupon code. Just go ahead and click that link and you'll be all set for the discount. Now, onto this week's episode. All right, so if we take a look over here right on the right-hand side here, then you'll see an example of exactly what we're talking about. This is just a very standard table that we have here and you can see that essentially the, the rows are alternating in color. Now, that doesn't have to be how you use this. You could use this for all sorts of different things. Uh, but that's, again, probably a standard use for this and the easiest way to kind of show this. All right, so we got some PHP up here, but let's go ahead and actually jump down uh, to our HTML real quick before we get into that. So we have our standard doc type here. We have our HTML tag. We have our head tag. You can see inside of our head tag, we have some very basic styling. So I just made the table a width of 500 pixels. I added a little bit of padding around the actual table cells just because I thought it looked better. And then I have this even class here. That is what we're going to determine using PHP. So we have an even and an odd class. So if we actually look at this, let's go ahead and inspect element here and pull this up. You can see that each row has either the even class or the odd class. Now you could set it to where you only set an even class. You don't necessarily need the odd class since we're not applying any styles to it. But again, for good measure, you can. I, I wanted to show you how to do both in case you want to edit the odd uh, class as well. All right, so, but here we're just giving a background of this kind of gray color to the even rows. And so you can see all the even rows, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, et cetera. All right, so pretty basic there. Then you can see here we have our table down here. And in this, we just have this very simple for loop. So we're setting our i variable here to a value of one. So we're gonna start off with one instead of zero because we want row one here. Um, we're gonna do anything less than or equal to 20. So that's gonna essentially increment up to the, the number 20. So you can see we have row 20 here. And then we're doing, of course, the I++, which actually increments this. Okay, so this is a standard for loop. If you're not familiar with for loops, then you know, maybe take a minute to, to look through those, but it's a really pretty standard for loop here. All right, then we're creating our rows in our table. So we have our table row, and in the row, then we're adding a class, and we're calling this function odd even, and we're passing in the value of our i here. And so that's the main thing that we're gonna be looking at here in this tutorial video. It's doing all the hard work for us. 
I put it in a function so that you can pull this out. You could technically, because it's not a lot of code, maybe do uh, trim this up and do this right here uh, inside of this actual loop here. But you know, if you want to develop this at all beyond just a very very basic type setup, you'd probably want to put this in a function. All right, so uh, we'll get to that here in just a second, but this is essentially what determines the class name here. And then we have our table cell, and we're just echoing, uh, we're just saying row and then echoing out the I. So that's what gives us one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. All right, so let's go ahead and then take a look at our PHP. So as I said, we're passing in our I variable here, which is the uh, the incremented number here so it's going to be for each time it increments through it'll pass the one then the two then the three then the four etc so up here then we're taking that and that's going to be our count that we use in our function then you also see we have this increment parameter and we've set it defaulted it to two now i'll come back to this in a second once we get through this you can actually change this and i'll show you what that does so in order to make all of this work, what we're doing is we're essentially setting the value of state to our count, which is going to be one, two, three, four, modulus in our increment. Okay, so you, now you may or may not be familiar with this modulus operator. So let's jump over here real quick. And this is an actual PHP arithmetic operator. You can see down here that modulus gives you the remainder of A divided by B. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing our count divided by our increment and grabbing whatever the remainder is. So if if we look at this, we're going to do 1 divided by 2, right? Because our, our count is row 1 and our increment is 2. So 1 divided by 2 is going to give us a remainder of 1, all right? So that's just some very you know very basic math but if you know that you're gonna know that that's gonna give you a remainder of one essentially and so uh, that's how we know that this this row is different from this one because if you take two divided by two then you're not you'll have zero remainder there's no remainder there three divided by two is gonna give you a remainder of one 4 divided by 2 is going to give you a remainder of 0. So if we actually come in here and we echo our state here, you can see this. So let's reload this and let's inspect our element. And you can see we're getting 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. That's the remainder. So this has a, a remainder of 1 here. This has a remainder of zero okay so that's what the modulus operator does it essentially just gives you the remainder from dividing the the two variables that you've put uh, or that you're you, you've selected here okay so that's how we know uh, if we have odd or even because we're dividing by two and if we have a remainder of zero we know that that's an even row here Right, so then all we do is we just run a simple check. So this is actually, before I go on, this is the part, you could actually just put this down here instead of this function. You could do, um, you could do uh, I modulus two, right? So you could write, write it just like this. Uh, I modulus two, right? And that would echo zero one, it would, it would echo just what you saw, it would echo uh, one zero one zero one zero and you could then target your classes in your styling here based off of a one and a zero if you wanted to do it that way I prefer to have class names that kind of make sense so uh, I've made this function so all we do then here is we check the state to see we're just being saying if not state so basically if state is equal to zero right then if it's equal to zero we know it's even that's what we've just determined and and talked about so if it's equal to zero we know it's even anything else is going to be uh is going to be odd or or not uh not even essentially if we're dividing by two okay so and then we just return even or odd based off of that so it's a really pretty straightforward function and that's all all we're really doing to make this happen okay now i mentioned that you can actually change this increment so if we come down here it's defaulted to two but we've come down here and set this explicitly to three 
then you can see now it's doing every third row. And if we set it to four, then oops, that's 43. That probably won't work so well. Uh, if we set it to four, then you can see it does every fourth row. You could do fifth, sixth, on up the line. So you can actually change this to highlight whatever uh, increment that you want for your rows. Again, the, the standard is probably every other like this. Now, of course, calling it odd even doesn't necessarily make sense in that respect, but um, I just did that because that's, again, the probably the primary usage here. Now, if you want to get access to this source code, then the way to do that is to head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources, or if you're on my website, you can simply click the resources tab right up here, and that will take you to my web developer resources page. Now, I have a whole all kinds of web developer resources on here from classes to the different tools that I use, but if you scroll down to the bottom here, then you'll see a section called code snippets and you'll see PHP code snippets, WordPress code snippets, and Genesis code snippets. So you can go ahead and click on through to the code snippets that apply for the video you're watching and you'll be able to get access to th that code snippet. Now, if we click here, for example, on PHP code snippets, then we will be taken to that page and you'll see all of the different code snippets here and you can click through and you'll get the video, you'll get the description and you'll get the code snippet as well. So again, head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources, head on down to the code snippet section to get access to the snippet that you're after. Of course, while you're here, you might as well look around and see some of the other developer tools and courses that I have available here that are going to help you down your path of becoming a web developer. And since I'm constantly adding to this page, then you might as well bookmark this page and check back often so you can see all of the things that I've added and get access to all of the tools and snippets and courses and things that I'm using throughout my career. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.